thanks for tuning in. We're really excited to be outside today to talk about a really amazing um, initiative that we have in town and some great, a great uh, partner nonprofit that we have. So first, I'm going to hand it over to Beth Sullivan, who's going to talk to us a little bit about Avalonia. Um, she is the Stonington Town Chair, um, and we're standing at one of their properties right now. So Beth, will you tell us a little bit about Avalonia and Stonington? So Avalonia, the land conservancy, is actually over 4,000 acres in southeastern Connecticut. Stonington, which I'm sort of the chair of and in charge of, is about 1,000 acres. We have almost 100 properties, and of them, there's a whole bunch that are trailed. You, it's open to anybody, anytime you want. Uh, the trails are open dawn to dusk. Um, we have fields and forests and have access to water. Um, most of our trails are pretty doggone easy. Some of them have got some challenges, but in general, they're just great places to get out and walk. Most of them are kid friendly. I'd say all of them are kid friendly because some kids get around better than I do. It's a great place to do exercise, to do science, to do singing, to roll in the grass, check for ticks. But there are just so many wonderful things available and a lot of people don't really recognize what Avalonia does for the community. It gives Rich and Company a place to have their hike Stonington. It gives us and parents and teachers a place to do Hike and Seek, which is a program we developed that allows kids and parents to go out in the preserve and look for targets, look for special things. What does this grass mean? What is that birdhouse for? What can you find along the shore? actually started uh, Hike Stonington back in 2016 and going into this season we had uh, just over 700 people participate in the program. This year alone we had another 434 people wow. jump in um, so it's uh, close to 1100 people that is that is participated in our program called Hike Stonington. Um, not only do we take advantage of uh, the, the great properties of Avalonia but we also expanded to Barn Island. Uh, Pequot Sea Post has a, a bunch of different hiking trails up there. Uh, Denison Farm has a beautiful trail up there. So we incorporated a lot of different properties, but the majority of them are from Avalonia, um, including this beautiful piece of property right here, Knox Preserve. Um, but the idea of the program is, is that you register for it, sign up your kids, sign up your, your, your moms, your dads, your grandmas, aunts, uncles, um, your circle of people that you're hanging out with. And, and we provide a list of different hikes for the, for the challenge. Um, we ask that you do it on your own and keep proper social distancing and check in with us when you do do a hike. And, and I'm finding the reports are just wonderful. Uh, the, the people are outside um, enjoying the nature. Uh, we've had it back from from early March and, and people were getting outside for the first time when we had the uh, when we had the quarantine period um, and it was just wonderful to see and see the, um, see the reactions and all that stuff. Not only this year but years in the past too and so forth. So the idea is, is that if you hike all the Stonington hikes and then you get your t-shirt at the end of the, the, the uh, as a prize uh, at the end of the, at the end of your program and everything so uh, that's it in a nutshell and, and uh, I did want to touch a couple of I did touch on a basis but many thanks to Avalonia uh, a lot of our properties that we do have hikes on is with Avalonia uh, Sea Post like I mentioned and in Barn Island um, what I also found with Stonington residents is a lot of times it was first time hikes on some yeah. properties never knew about Knox Preserve. Yeah. Um, so it's it's great to see the reactions and the parents and everything. So 
this has been this has actually been really good for Avalonia too because a lot of people really didn't know what is Avalonia. Our name doesn't really say it all the time. People will see a sign, but what is it? But these kind of programs put our properties front and center, and it's it's a great. We have so many people call up and either join us as members now um, or say. I hiked with Hike Stonington, but now I find Avalonia, so now I'm going to hike in North Stonington and Ledger, or I'm going to look at other Avalonia trails, there are others that are not on. So our, our visibility in the community has increased so much thanks to the Hike Stonington. Um, and just for those who are interested, this is the Knox Preserve, which we got in 1985. They were going to put a magnesium plant on this property. Wow. But they donated it to Avalonia, David Knox, 1985. And I'd say it's only a mile of trails. You cannot get lost here. This is the easiest it's one to come starter. to. It's a good <laughs> starter. Um, you know, moms with strollers. It may be one little hump that you have to get over, but it's a 